Hi, my name is Kate Grady. I've come to this conference on behalf of the United Nations Association of the UK, but also obviously to find out more about my research. I've been really inspired by the vast number of, of massively overqualified speakers who've been here um, this week and who've had fascinating um, things to say. And it's been really great to listen to them and to hear their perspective on a whole variety of, of issues. I think the highlight for me was the session on resolutions 1325 and 1820 on women, peace and security, which really have been absolutely groundbreaking in terms of international law and in terms of the uh, UN and the Security Council's approach towards engaging women um, in post-conflict and pre-conflict um, peace building. And I think that's been vitally important to spread the message about those two resolutions. And hopefully more NGOs will go away from this event having learned more about those resolutions and can spread the word against young women around the world that they can really take action and have their voice heard. Cool, My name then. is Natalie Hall. I'm from Chicago in the United States. I am a student in the master's program in psychology at Roosevelt University. <laughs> Actually, um, recently I've been reading a lot on things like career negotiation and just negotiation in general for women and um, it's kind of pointing out reasons why women are behind in pay and rights and things like that. We don't advocate for ourselves as much as men do and so one of my goals is to get more information on how that impacts us as a whole. So a lot of people say, well, women make less or don't, aren't allowed these certain rights, but part of it is what people, other people allow us and part of it is what we fight for. And I think that in general women have to step up to the plate and fight for more, whether it's equal pay or equal rights as men or anything like that. And I was hoping to get you know, some information, some strategies from this conference. I think young people um, need to step up, step up and take more leadership roles and one, advocating for themselves and doing more outreach because what we're doing right now is allowing and waiting for older generations that grew up in different contexts to address contemporary problems and that doesn't quite work so well. They're addressing problems from their perspective which was a different generation, a whole different global context and we need to bring our opinions to the table and say, okay, here's what we're growing up in, this is what we see, and this is what we think is important now uh, to focus on. And so by waiting for them to come ask us, you know, what do you think or how do you participate is not going to work. We have to step up and say, okay, here's what we see as a problem and go from there. So basically we need to take more responsibility for what will be our own future. I am Helena Ganza, I'm from Germany, and um, I'm also a psychology student. I study in Heidelberg in the south of Germany, and I'm here as a journalist, as part of the student journalist program. Mm -hmm. um, some of the highlights have been especially one workshop I've been to that was on um, women's rights and um, how traditions and culture, which is a good thing, and which UNESCO is trying to protect, but which also sometimes, especially in Africa, um, holds traditions that are really dehumanizing and degrading for women, and especially, especially for older women or women who have lost their husbands. And um, it was really, really touching. Was there were a lot of women coming up who were uh, heads or representing their NGOs and who were doing projects in their countries and talking about what happened to these women and what they were able to do for them. And it was really amazing to listen to that. So that was a highlight. And also yesterday I was at one breakout session, which was on the Security Council resolution. Um, 1820, I don't know if you know about it, but which is really fairly new, and um, it's just amazing energy in the room, and they all decided to, um, that it wasn't enough, that not enough was being done, that there's a resolution, but it's not, nothing's happening, nothing's changing, and they're going to write an open letter to the Secretary General, and they all got together to, um, to write it and to sign it, and again this morning, and uh, that really inspired me. <laughs> um, raising awareness is always something that youth can participate in. Um, I personally, I already talked to a friend of mine, and what we want to do is we want to write to um, the Ministry for Education in Germany, because we were thinking about it, it's not even part of the curriculum in schools to read through um, the human rights. And it should be, and we thought we were going to write a letter and find out what it's like in other countries, and ask if this is not a possibility, or this, it's not even a question, it should be done. So this is something we can do. Also, I'm a journalist, I'm going to be reporting about this conference, just telling people about what's going on.